five here. And first off, guys, I want to say, pardon the mess here in my basement. Uh, my statue cave here. <laughs> I'm basically doing a lot of remodeling and stuff and reset up of the display. So there's a lot of boxes everywhere. But anyway, um, just a full warning if you see any of the mess in the background. But an amazing piece came today, and I want to share it with you guys. Uh, this is from Blitzway. And, uh, you know, of course, the licensing Metro Goldwyn Mayer from the movie Rocky II. And then we see more uh, stuff uh, from the movie credits. There's the side with the American flag of Rocky II. And the other side of the box, Rocky II. If I could just flip this box over, show you guys the credits. You know, the American flag up top in the back of the box. Then we see Rocky II, Blitzway, one quarter scale, superb scale collectible statue, limited edition. It's just amazing. Um, I think they call it a superb scale hybrid type because it's pot PVC, I believe, on the sculpt and the rest is polystone. Um, but we see here, here's what we want, the credits. Who did this? There it is right there, you know, creators one, Troy, director K, but art and sculpt and paint, K.A. Kim. Miss Kim, she is amazing. She did the Bruce Lee from Blitzway from the Game of Death, and that came out amazing. I own that also. Um, and now she did this amazing Sylvester Stallone sculpt. Sorry, my chair's rocking. Uh, I'm going to put the box off to the side. I'll go a little dark off camera here. And let's get to this amazing piece that Miss Kim did. I love this extra touch. It's not numbered at all, uh, the statue. So that's fine, whatever. I believe there's an addition size. I'm not 100%, but I know that the statue on the bottom here just says Rocky with a picture of Stallone. And there's no number on the bottom. But this is really cool. Comes with this like circular base plate. So basically you can put it up against the statue you know, up against the, it, you know, the, the base is circular, so it fits around it perfectly, which is really neat. Nice addition there. And then you see the picture of Stallone, you know, Rocky, the silhouette there from all the Rocky movies. And obviously, this is from Rocky too. Let's start from the ground up. The base is nice and classy. It's a circular black base, almost like a pop culture shot collectible, you know, simplistic, don't take away from the... Uh, statue itself but they also did add a little bit of extra here with the concrete effect that you see rocky and buck is standing on when i saw this ball this ball came in a bag in the box with the two flyers let's get the, the detail of the flyers first of all really cool really cool like crumpled up you know on the ground of philadelphia apollo creed the stallion chicken Instead of the Italian Stallion. I'm sorry, Apollo Creed versus the Stallion Chicken. <laughs> and then one of the other crumpled up flyers here says... The rematch of the century, Rocky Balboa, the challenger from Philadelphia. Exciting slugging sensation versus Apollo Creed from New York City, world's heavyweight champion, Rocky II from the movie. So... We'll leave those up there on the ground. Another really cool touch was I saw this ball and I was like, what the hell is this? It's like a racket ball, except it's black. So it's like a black rubber ball and it bounces. It is rubber. <laughs> I thought it was a magnet to hold down the, you know, the statue. The, I mean, the um, the flyers, but it's not. This is basically <laughs> Buckus's ball. <laughs> you know, Rocky used to play fetch with Buckus. His dog. So I just leave it there on the foot of the base. It kind of is a little little divot there so it won't roll around. Just stays at Rocky's feet. You know, he's like almost like Buckus just dropped it at his feet playing fetch. So it looks pretty good like that. Even the dog has some cool mixed media on him. Uh, <clears throat> let me stand up to get this. We see Buckus in number 51, you know, with the Eagles jersey on. And he's got the spiked collar. I mean, look at the detail in the sculpt of the dog alone. The paint job, the spiked collar, 
I mean, it is amazing. The fur looks awesome. So good. The face, they did such a great job. Looks really cool. Now the dog is no magnet or anything, so he just stands. So you just gotta stand him on, making sure all four legs are obviously on the base, on the concrete. That's kind of how I stood him next to Rocky. Now let's get to the man here. He comes with, you know, his, you know, he's not like in a, um, he's got his boots on. It's not like he's in, uh, you know, boxing attire, which is a pretty cool change. Every time you see Rocky, you know, he's in like the American flag trunks or the yellow trunks from Rocky three or whatever. It's different. It's nice to see him in like his street clothes. You know, it's Sylvester Stallone. It's pretty cool. I'm a huge Stallone, Sly Stallone fan and. Um, they finally nailed the sculpt. Hollywood Collectibles, they attempted a few Stallone sculpts, but, and, and it was okay to date, but nothing has been this accurate. I mean, this is just awesome with the lips and the eyes and, you know, it's just Stallone's features. Hey, Adrian, yeah, go to the zoo. It just, it looks like Rocky, it looks like Stallone, it screams Stallone, it's awesome. Nice uh, spiked bracelet here to match the spike collar that Buckus has on. I mean, he even has like a belt here and everything. Like the detail, there's a belt under it. And it's just awesome like that. They didn't skip a beat. <laughs> the zipper, it's only functional zipper on the uh, jacket too, I believe. It's got the gold cross. It's got the hat like Rocky had. And then, you know, the tiger on the jacket, the eye of the tiger. The tiger jacket that he wore in Rocky II. Just really cool. Really nice features. Um, they just they did not skip a beat on the uh, on the um, the sculpt or the the mixed media, the costume, even right down to the veins in his arms. And the leather gloves look real with the stitching. Just really cool. And the jacket and the shirt, and of course. You know, Stallone's face. I mean, they just nailed it. Did a great job on it. Looks a lot like Stallone. I have no complaints about this piece at all. Wish my uh, iPhone camera would get a little bit better focus. some reason the uh there we go there we lock some focus on still on his face there i almost had a heart attack or as dicker would say a heart attack <laughs> uh, when i uh got him the head was slightly leaned forward it's actually a magnet at the neck and it's a magnet at each arms it comes with the you know the little directions that do tell you you know, before you, you know, hold this and stuff, be careful. Hold them by the waist. You know, it's all magnets at the arms and the head. So, it's nice of them to include that, too. Uh, this statue just, I love it. Gets a 10 out of 10 for me. It's just like uh, Marilyn Monroe. It's perfect. They did a great job with the salon likeness. The resemblance is uncanny. The sculpt of the hair. The fedora on them. The whole outfit you know it's perfectly fitted and the fabric's nice and stitched paint job is so amazingly applied the application of the paint job is perfect the glossy eyes and buckets i mean that looks like a real dog it's crazy so right up to stallone's glossy eyes it's just amazing the gold chain such a good job on this piece anyway hope you guys enjoyed the review have a good night guys